So for today's card, I'm going to use the Modern Damask stamp. It's a large background stamp. And I'm going to use a couple different colors of ink. I love blending and inking up backgrounds with these ink colors because sometimes you get surprised at the color you end up with. Uh, some of our design team have created cards and I've emailed them and said, uh, hello, what color ink were you using? Sometimes you get unexpected colors or shades of colors when you blend. Okay, so I can leave it as is before I move on. So you're gonna notice I got some blue on my ink pad. So this is another reason why having re-inkers on hand is a great idea. So I'm just gonna take a paper towel and just rub that off and then I'll be able to grab my ink refill and just squeeze the bottle gently and add a little bit more ink on there. So no harm done. I'll set my inks aside. I can take my paper and just lay it right on top of here if I want and get a great background or Maybe I want to spice this up and use a little bit of water. I'm just doing a little spray of water. The colors are going to blend a little more. Then we're going to take a piece of watercolor paper. We'll add it on top here. Now to save my fingers from getting all inky, I'm going to grab just a piece of computer paper, put it on top, and then rub. Remove this. And then we'll see what we got. Oh, we have a beautiful damask background with an ombre look and some fun blending in between. So now it's time to finish off the card. I'm gonna use our dotted circles die to do some layers. I'm just putting a couple pen marks around the circle die to kind of give me an idea of where my circle is going to cut out. And then I'll take the Melanice ink pad and I'm going to do some direct to paper. So if you do a lot of direct to paper, you're going to notice some lightening of your ink pad. And that's another reason why having the ink refills on hand is awesome because you can just grab it and add a little bit more ink and make sure your ink pads are always nice and juicy when you need them to be. So now I have this fabulous little bit neon. <laughs> paper that I can cut my circle out of. I'm going to do a melon ice one and I'm going to do a white one. As long as I'm at it, I'm going to do the congrats also and I'm going to do aqua teeny. So I'll just get aqua teeny right inside that little section right there. I'm going to add these all to my big shot and run it through. The aqua teeny didn't get quite solid. I actually like it that way because then it's going to give me some dimension and interest to my die cut. It won't be one complete solid full color. Have a little bit of ombre going on right inside that congrats. Now this is what I've got going on so far and I think I want to add some leaves to it. So I've grabbed my Perfect Reason Vine Dye. This is from the stamp of approval that came out. Uh, earlier this year. This will be available for sale in the store later this summer if you didn't get a chance to grab that collection. I will show you another option in a, in a minute, something else that I did, but I'm going to try the leaves. So I'm just uh, swiping some ink on there and then I'm going to go to my Big Shot and cut those out. All right, so bringing you guys along the process on this, I am not digging that. So I'm going to set these aside and I will use these leaves on another project but they just are not working for me on this one. I decided to just keep it simple and add these to the card front. I'm hanging this off the side. I wanted to do that anyway, but you can see I have some of those lines that ended up not being off the die cut. So I'll just cut those off and then I'm gonna add this at a little bit of an angle just for some fun. You can see my subtle little dots on there adding some fun interest. I'll add some liquid glue to this die cut and add it to the card front. So if you've been playing with your inks and you have some fun color combinations to share and some fun colors that came from your blending, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys are doing and what kind of success you're having with your inks. And I always love hearing about that stuff. I also have some Nouveau Drops. Have you guys seen these? They seem to be all the rage and I wasn't really sure why. So I went to Betty's Creative Studio last week, if you saw, or a week or two weeks ago or whatever. But anyway, um, I went to Betty's Creative Studio. It's a stamp store that's about an hour from me and we're actually gonna be um, having our products in there and I saw the Nouveau drop so I had to pick them up because everyone is saying they're totally awesome and I wanted to see why. 
So they squeezed out pretty well. It looks like they're mounding up nicely and they look pretty cool. This is, uh, let's see what kind this is, glitter drops. So it's just like clear glitter drops. I also have blue and I have clear and I have orange. Ah, I got a few, few to play with. So that's that. Uh, oh, I do have one more card to show you. Okay, so here is pretty much the same card, a little bit lighter version. This is It's a Boy Ink, Melon Ice, Mint to Be is here, and Garden Party is here. So if you're on YouTube, be sure to hop over to my blogs. I'll have all of this listed out for you. I used two uh, white dotted circles just layered on top of each other with the Get Well Soon from our new Simply Stated stamp set. And then I grabbed the Enchanted Butterfly. I watercolored it and then I added some sparkle pen on top. So that's another way to finish it off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I'm glad you're here. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon.